thank God because today is a day that God has made, mm. and uh, we will be happy in it. I want to tell you that um, on behalf of um, uh, members of Word of Life Bible Ministry, Miami, Florida, and on behalf of the pastorate, especially led by your son, uh, Pastor Kelly, Josiah Bobo, we'd like to welcome you formally into uh, this beautiful, wonderful city. And we know that um, we don't need to be told because in a space of less than 10 minutes, we're feeling something in our lives, which of course, um, we have been getting the ones from your son for a long time, but this one is that of the father. And of course, we claim it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you are formally welcome, and um, we'll make a proper introduction right now. The pastor was trying to make the introduction, but I'm sure you were in a hurry uh, because we wanted to leave at that point in time. Um, we have beautiful people here. These are not only members of the church. I'm sure that in another couple of minutes from now, you'll be receiving a lot of people, uh, even though we want you to rest. But then um, there's so much excitement going on in the city because of your coming here. So much excitement. Um, We'll do the proper introduction right now, and then um, I want to begin to know those of us that are here today. Most people have to call out from their job. I know. Um, America is run on uh, it's 24 hours, yeah. and people are paid by, by the hour. Mm. So, but a lot of people here actually called off, um, leaving their money they want to receive, mm. wanted to come and receive you. Mm. And they would have done more. <laughs> We're even thinking of our boys with the cameras and stuff like that, but they are busy. Uh, they couldn't oh, come. Oh, oh, but um, <laughs> essentially, we like to welcome you so specially. You are the first Christian um, church to have a ready made choir every Sunday. All the churches here don't have a regular choir that sings for them. We have a regular choir. And most of our members of our choir, they, of course, work for all of that churches, especially after our services. So that's the first for us. We're the first um, ministry here to have a website. Apart from those ones like Redeem and stuff like that, but no local website. We're the first one to operate a huge radio station. Um, today we have close to 3,000 listeners. Um, I'm sure when you're when you alright, um, we, would, we would take you to our radio station to be interviewed so that the whole world can, can, can hear what's going on. Please come in there, Pastor Oscar. Please come in there. Okay. Prophet Oscar from the UK. Prophet sir. Oscar from the UK. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. How are you, sir? Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sit down close to another prophet. <laughs> He's actually the, um, our prof um, pastor's friend from, um, uh, from the UK. Um, he came in last night and um, he's in the hotel and then um, he's going to be part of and part of what we're doing in the next three. So we've got so many firsts because we now know where the source is coming from. Now we're about to score many firsts too, especially once that you're in town. I know that the impact of your coming here would, would be very unusual because after the, after the uh, what's it called, anniversary, there's going to be serious acceleration, like you said, and there's going to be a lot of things happening to the ministry. So the ministry is going to be three years, but three years, we are, we, are, we are like, oh, you guys just came, what are you doing? But like we're like 10 years ahead of everyone that is here. It is not our glory, but for the glory of God. So once again, we'd like to welcome you. Welcome Pastor Oscar too. Um, these are not the only men, say, introduce myself. Oh, okay. I have something to say. Okay. And this is Oku Dante. He's the PR, he's the entertainment guy, he's Pastor uh, Security. <laughs> My people. <laughs> That's Joseph. He's all in one. <laughs> um, like she said, I'm just from Sinolani in Tabi. I love the Lord, and um, I like to work for God and then uh, do the right thing at the right time for for for, for God. Uh, something happened. The first. Yeah, the first one. That's another first. The first Nigerian, and we have the first Nigerian performing live. At the um, Jazz in the Garden, um, Jazz in the Garden, uh, in the Garden uh, festival. It's actually a festival that is unusual in America. They do it in uh, the city of Miami Gardens, uh, very close to us here. And um, they have the likes of uh, Beyonce coming every year, and the likes of uh, R. Kelly coming every year, the likes of all the greats coming every year. And for the very first time, sometime last month, um, our keyboardist and saxophonist, his name is Ay, is actually the father of this boy. And the husband to that one, um, <laughs> Madam <laughs> Ife. Um, yes, that one. <laughs> the guy, um, for some time, there was a testimony in the church. The wife said she sat down before her screen, her laptop, 
and she wanted to put him um, for her husband. I just said, in the name of Jesus, I want to put him for my husband. Something must happen. And for the very first time in the history of Nigerians in the U.S., any Nigerian living or dead, the guy was actually accommodated this year to perform before close to 78,000 people at the stadium. And this guy is not only a member of our church, lived with Pastor Ege for a couple of months before he had to go do what he had to do. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay, maybe a year or something. And he performed. Are you seeing him in church tomorrow, sir? He is awesome. So we want to thank God that a lot of things happen to us. Pastor Ege today is the first pastor, Nigerian pastor, by the special grace of God. Um, it was at TVN sometime last week. Um, the program will be shown on a huge network in America. It's called IOM. It's a huge network. And um, uh, for amongst all the pastors, there were there over 20 of them. He was actually called upon to speak twice, you know, before a whole lot of people. And of course, the network will start rolling anytime from next month. Next month um, is May, right? It's going again for another. Um, um, another, um, what's it called now? Episode. Go and shoot another episode. So we've scored so many first, and we know that if it is not because of the fact that you have impacted positively in his life, most things that are happening to him may not be happening. And if that impartation has not affected him positively, maybe most of us that are standing here, we may not be um, impacted positively. Because when you kneel down before a prophet, be careful of what you are getting from that prophet. So we'd like to welcome you very much. We'd like to say thank you for making it. Thank you. And as we call the name Jesus, we'll spell it out together. We'll just, you know, beautifully cut the cake. J, J, E, E, S, S, U, U, S, S, Jesus.